I thought you are all realized souls already. How did you get them here? I don't know. <laughs> Are they afraid of the Albert Hall or what? <laughs> All right. So I think we can try that again. Okay. Just put your hands towards me like. Just take out my shoes as. It's all right. You have to take out your shoes, that's all. Now, as I said yesterday, that another simple thing is that you have to forgive yourself. As it is, you know it's a fashion to feel guilty for everything. I don't know how it has started, but to feel guilty. It's a fashion, say sorry. Formerly on the telephone, we used to say, I beg your pardon, all right? Nowadays they say sorry. Sorry for what? So this sorriness is too much. Now don't be sorry for anything here. You shouldn't feel sorry in any way. Don't feel guilty. You have done nothing wrong, believe me, it's all nonsense that you must have read some novel or might have read some, I don't know what, that you have to feel guilty. You are not sinners by any chance, take it from me. They are not sinners, it's all just money-making propositions, I think, to say you are all sinners, you give us money, so all your sins will be washed off. <laughs> I don't know, they also give guarantee card, I am saying. <laughs> so all these gimmicks, you must understand, it has nothing to do with reality. So, just in your heart, you believe me that you are not sinners, not to feel guilty for small, small things. Our norms are so much that you can feel guilty for anything. Say you spilled coffee, finished. All your life you are bothered that I spilled coffee. I mean, coffee is to be spilled only. <laughs> I don't understand. So these stupid, nonsensical norms that we have adopted are really responsible for creating this feeling of guilt within us also. Also, all funny ideas you read, the books you read and things you read, because you are on the way of righteousness, you are on the way of reality. So you start saying, oh my God, I did this, I should not have done it. It's all right, forget it. If you have done anything wrong, at that moment only, you should neutralize it. But don't carry the load all your life on your left Vishuddhi. It's a very dangerous thing because you develop spondylitis. If not that, you can develop angina. So this is a very important center and don't feel guilty for no fault of yours. So this is another very simple condition. And the third one is, as you forgive yourself for everything, you should forgive others also. Because yesterday I told you, whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. But if you don't forgive others, then you are playing into wrong hands. So just say, I forgive everyone, which is very important. Because here people believe, that how can I forgive is very difficult. What is difficult? Nothing. Just have to say, Mother, I forgive everyone. Finished. Once for all you say that and you'll be surprised this center will open out. Without these two centers opening up, the Kundalini cannot pierce through. So just help yourself with these two things, just in your heart you have to say. Now in your hands, just see, watch what's happening on your hands. As I told you yesterday, all these fingers are activated when you get your realization of vibrations. Because these are all centers of the sympathetic nervous system endings. 
And in these centers, what you find is that these are centers on the right hand side are for your physical and mental being. Left hand side are for your emotional being. So you can see these five centers, six and seven. This is the seventh center, which is here in the head, in the limbic area. So you have these seven centers and you start feeling on the seven centers the vibrations, the divine power, to see that. Now one scientist in Russia, I told you yesterday, has found out through his calculations and mathematical things from my photograph that according to him I am the source of this cosmic energy. I don't know what to say, but whatever it is, you just feel it yourself on your fingertips, just feel it. A cool breeze or a hot breeze would be coming here. Now, you, was this signal? <laughs> no one knows. All right. Put the right hand like this and put the left hand on top of the fontanelle bone area through which the Kundalini pierces through. You can bend your head better. And now see for yourself, if there's a cool or a hot breeze coming out of your head. If it is hot, nothing to worry, that means some correction is needed, but maybe it might cool down just now. Put your right hand towards me, bend your head and see with your left hand, not touch the head, Keep it away and see for yourself. You can move your hand from left to right. If you are not forgiving yourself or others, there will be hot breeze coming in. But it should be cool breeze of the Holy Ghost. So now see for yourself. It's called as Ru or is called also as Param Chaitanya. Now put your left hand towards me. Now put down your head and see with your right hand now. Bend your head and see from your right hand. You can raise it, you can move it and see for yourself if there's a cool or hot breeze coming out of it. Once more, you put your right hand towards me and see with the left hand. All right. Now, please put both your hands towards me and watch me without thinking, just without thinking. You can do it, without thinking. Yeah. Now, you can raise your both the hands towards the sky like this. Bend back your head and ask a question, any one of these questions, three questions, ask one of them, three times in your heart, three times. You can ask, Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? Second question, is this the all-pervading power of divine love? Third question, is this the Param Chaitanya? Any one of these questions you have to ask only three times, that's all. Now take it down. All those who have felt cool or hot breeze on the fingertips or on the palms or out of the fontanelle bone area, Please raise all your hands. See now. My God. See all of them. May God bless you. May God bless you. Bless you. 